हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर शशि अग्रवाल आई वेलकम यू ऑल यू आर वॉचिंग शशि अग्रवाल चैनल शशि अग्रवाल चैनल प्रोवाइड्स वीडियोस रिलेटिंग टू इकोनॉमिक्स कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट अर्लियर सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल दैन डू सब्सक्राइब एंड बी कनेक्टेड विद द शशि अग्रवाल थैंक यू हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आर सब्जेक्ट इज माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स और बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू ए वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट टॉपिक दैट इज दी कंपैरिजन बिटवीन द परफेक्ट कंपटीशन मोनोपोली एंड मोनोपोलिस्टिक कंपटीशन इट्स हिंदी लेक्चर विल आल्सो बी अवेलेबल एट माय सेकंड चैनल दैट इज शशि अग्रवाल इकोनॉमिक्स एंड लॉ क्लासेज In this video, we are going to cover what are the features of perfect competition, monopoly, and monopolistic competition. Then we are going to uh, the whole comparison between the perfect competition, monopoly, and monopolistic. Then we are going to cover the monopoly and perfect competition separately. Monopolistic and perfect competition, monopolistic competition, and the monopoly. because this question is very significant this is also very important for the long term question as well as for the short term question if this question is asked in lengthy question then we have to give the meaning of that uh, like if they have asked about the comparison between the perfect competition and the monopolistic competition then we have to give the meaning of perfect competition as well as of the monopolistic competition then we have to give the features of both then we will come to the comparison first give the meaning and features then write the comparison more elaborately but if the question is short and you are having limited time if you are having sufficient time then you give the meaning of uh, like there is a uh, comparison between the monopoly and monopolistic competition then write few lines regarding the monopoly and monopolistic competition then go to the difference but if you have a limited time then straight go to the difference first of all we are going to understand what is perfect competition perfect competition is that situation of the market in which there are large number of buyers and sellers and the number is very small that is not going to influence the pricing decision of the uh, uh, pricing decision of the market because here in the perfect competition the price is determined by the industry that is determined by the industry means the collection of firms and the product is homogeneous and the price is determined by the industry on the basis of demand and supply at the given price the form is price taker the, you have to remember the perfect competition large number of buyer and seller homogeneous product and the price is determined by the industry or that given price which is fixed by the industry the form is a price taker The perfect competition is characterized by the presence of many form. They all sell identical products. Identical me products mean no differentiation, no clubs, close substitutes. Only homogeneous, same type of product is available. The seller is price taker, not the price maker, because the price is in fixed by the industry on the basis of demand and supply. so what are the features of the perfect competition large number but small size of buyer and sellers and the buyer and seller they are having the perfect knowledge and there is free freedom to enter any firm could enter any firm could exit and there is no restriction and the factors of production they are perfectly mobile and there is no transaction cost no transport cost no selling cost and the price is always same and if the perfect knowledge and perfect mobility is taken out of this then it will be called pure competition now we will understand what is monopoly monopoly is that situation of market in which there is a single seller of a product mono means single poly means seller so monopoly is just reverse of the perfect competition because under the perfect competition large number of buyer and seller but here there is a only one single seller but large number of buyers monopoly is a market situation in which there is only one producer of a commodity with no close substitutes 
and here the monopoly that is the firm that is the industry and here the price is price is controlled by the monopolist and what are the features of the monopoly one single seller large number of buyers monopoly is also an industry he has to take one decision either he will take the decision of price the output will be determined automatically if we take the decision of the output the price will be determined automatically so monopoly is a, also an industry and the decision or to produce and what to charge that is taken by the monopolist and there is restriction there are barriers there are obstacles on the entry of the new forms and there is no close substitute and the monopoly the price is determined by the monopolist now we will understand what is monopolistic competition that is the situation that is the type of imperfect competition that is the situation of the market in which there are many seller of a commodity but the product of each seller is different from the product of other seller in one way or the other so monopolistic competition is having the features of both like the perfect competition and monopoly because like we are like the pepsi cola they have registered their trademark that could not be used by anyone so uh, the main feature is the product differentiation here under monopolistic competition we could have the close substitutes of the product product differentiation may be in the form of difference in the brand name like we are having pepsi and coca cola trademark quality packing and difference in facility or services monopolistic competition is a market situation in which there are many sellers of a particular product but the product of each seller is differentiated in the minds of the consumer from the product of every other seller like we are having washing machine lg washing machine is there ifb washing machine is there whirlpool washing machine is there each product may be having actual differentiation or artificial differentiation but product differentiation do exist in the monopolistic competition that is the basic feature of the monopolistic competition that here uh, like uh, perfect competition we have homogeneous under monopoly the product may be homogeneous may not be homogeneous because it is supplied by the monopoly under the monopolistic competition competition large number of buyers and sellers but they deal with the close substitutes so what are the features of the monopolistic competition large number of firms and buyers product differentiation is the basic feature and there is also freedom of entry and exit of the firms but the here the uh, buyer they are not having the uh, proper knowledge regarding the market conditions so the seller they have to incur the selling cost and each firm has their own price policy and there is less mobility of the factors of production and the and the uh, buyers and sellers they don't have imperfect knowledge and here the basic feature is also non price competition here the firms they don't compete on the price basis they don't reduce the price uh, basically they don't uh, compete on the basis of price they like uh, surf will offer that uh, at 35 you will have 50 g more 100 g more yeah they may be giving some uh, free buys with the products here we are going to compare the perfect competition monopoly and monopolistic competition at one place first the basis of difference is on the basis of number of sellers uh, in in the perfect competition large number of sellers and buyers and the monopoly there is single seller and the monopolistic competition large number of sellers and buyers and on the basis of product perfect competition it is homogeneous monopoly it may be homogeneous it may be differentiated the decision lies with the monopoly monopolistic but under the monopolistic competition the product is differentiation differentiated close substitutes uh, under the perfect competition the price is determined by the industry whether you buy from the batinda whether you buy from the delhi whether you buy from the calcutta the price will be same but under the monopoly the monopolistic is having this power to charge uh, different prices for the same product he could opt for the price discrimination under the monopolistic competition as the due to product differentiation price may not be uniform under perfect competition any firm can enter any firm can leave there is no restriction but monopoly no firm can enter there are barriers for the entering the that market monopolistic competition there is no restriction any firm can enter any firm can leave and uh, under perfect competition the buyer and seller both are having perfect knowledge 
but under the monopoly there is a uh, imperfect knowledge uh, generally bar they because he is the monopolist he uh, the bar may be having uh, knowledge but that is not the perfect knowledge under monopolistic competition there is a imperfect knowledge under the perfect competition there is a perfect mobility under the monopoly there is a imperfect mobility under the monopolistic competition there is also imperfect monopoly Mo mobility sorry movement and under perfect competition there is no selling cost no transport cost monopoly uh, seldom transport cost may be incurred uh, if the goods they are moved from one place to another a monopolistic competition selling cost are very much needed as the buyer is not having the perfect knowledge by selling cost the organization inform about itself so transport cost is also incurred and what is the condition of the average revenue and the marginal revenue under perfect competition the average revenue and marginal revenue they are both parallel to x axis and they are both equal to each other and this is this is the shape of the but under monopoly the shape of this a mr lies above uh, sorry mr lies below it uh, because for the selling more unit the uh, monopolist has to reduce the price so ar and mr they are downward sloping and ar and mr AR is more than MR. That is why MR lies below it. In the similar manner, the monopolistic competition they are more elastic. They are less elastic under monopoly. AR and MR they are downward sloping. And here the uh, under perfect competition, the uh, it is perfectly elastic because it is parallel to x-axis. At the given price, the demand could be moved to infinity. And under monopoly, it is less elastic. Monopolistic competition, it is more elastic. I, under the perfect competition the price is determined by the industry so the firm is the price taker under the monopoly the monopolist has full control over it or under the monopolistic competition they have partial control because the product is differentiation now we are going to cover the comparison between the monopolistic competition and perfect competition assumption regarding the product in the perfect competition the product is homogeneous under the monopolistic competition the product is closely substitute of other product is differentiated number of buyer seller in perfect competition large number of buyer and sellers and group of seller is called industry but under monopolistic competition large number of buyer and seller but the group of seller is called group and they deal in differentiated product assumption regarding the degree of knowledge the uh, buyer is having the perfect knowledge uh, under the monopolistic competition they are not fully aware uh, that is why the selling cost has to be incurred assumption regarding the shape of the demand curve ar m mr they are equal to each other and uh, the price is determined by the industry and this is the price which is determined by the industry here the average revenue and marginal revenue they are equal to each other and that is why the graph is parallel to x axis but under the monopolistic competition ar is more than uh, ar is more than mr and they are downward sloping mr lies below it implication regarding the decision the perfect competition the firm is price taker because the industry decide about the price that is on the basis of demand and supply uh, the firm has to take the decision how much unit it is going to sell at that price and there is perfect knowledge so no need of selling cost monopolistic competition either they have to determine the output or price there as the uh, imperfect knowledge is there so lots of selling cost has to be incurred implication regarding the condition of the maximum profits under the firm's perfect competition under the monopolistic competition the, their aim is to get the maximum uh, profit maximize their profits the equilibrium condition in, um, under perfect competition and monopolistic competition is both say, same that is the equilibrium is arrived where the mr is equal to mc and mc cuts the mr from the below comparison regarding the price in the long run price under monopolistic competition is higher price under uh, basically uh, 
price under perfect competition it is uh, equal to average cost but under the monopolistic competition is more than the average cost so the price as compared to the monopolistic competition is more than the perfect competition like here i will show it to you like here this is the price which is determined by the industry uh, this uh, perfect competition and this is the price which is determined under the monopolistic competition so it is more than the price which is prevails in the perfect competition and the output is more in the perfect competition because uh, this is the price which is determined by the industry ar is equal to mr and this is the ac and this is the mc and this is the condition of equilibrium and under here we see uh, like here in the long run here this is the point of equilibrium under monopolistic competition this is the point of equilibrium so this is the price which is uh, determined under monopolistic competition and uh, the monopolistic competition stops production before reaching the minimum point so output of monopolistic competition is less than the perfect competition because under perfect competition is it is produced to the least possible cost that is the minimum point of the average cost comparison regarding the profits perfect competition and monopolistic competition both uh, forms operating in perfect competition under monopolistic competition in the short run they could have super normal profit normal profits and minimum loss but under the long run the perfect competition it is always uh, normal profit monopolistic competition it is always normal profit but most efficient form they may earn super normal profit in the perfect competition there is optimum utilization of the resources but under the monopolistic competition before the minimum point the production is stopped now we are going to do the comparison between the monopoly and the perfect competition monopoly under the monopoly the aim is to get the maximum profit under the perfect competition the aim is also to get the maximum pro profit and the product may be homogeneous under monopoly or may not be generally it is homogeneous but under perfect competition it is always homogeneous under monopoly there is single seller large number of buyers but under perfect competition large number of seller and large number of buyers in the monopoly there is restriction on entry barrier on entry no firm can enter but under perfect competition there is freedom of entry and exit and the shape of the ar and mr it uh, slopes downward because if the monopoly wants to sell more unit it has to reduce the price that is why the ar curve and mr curve slopes downward ar is more than mr and that is why mr lies below it and uh, uh, like the per perfect competition firm is the price taker the price is determined by the industry ar is equal to mr because the price uh, everywhere is the same if you want to uh, have 5 unit if you want to have 10 unit the price will be charged same under the monopoly if the monopoly want to sell more unit it has to reduce the price that is why it is downward sloping like this is the graph here i will explain this is the ar this is the mr and this is the average cost and this is the mc which passes to the min point this is the point of equilibrium here this is the price which is charged by the monopolistic uh, sorry this is the price which is charged under the monopoly but when we talk about the perfect competition so this price is charged by the under the this price is charged under the perfect competition and here we also see the output is more under the perfect competition as compared to the monopoly output is less perfect competition it is more supply curve cannot be calculated under the monopoly because he uh, he uh, adopt price discrimination so marginal uh, cost cannot be the supply curve but supply curve can be known marginal cost above variable cost is the supply curve 
uh, under the monopoly and perfect competition in the short run the firm could have super normal profit normal profit and could incur minimum loss but in the long run monopoly will serve uh, 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 monopoly will stay only if it gets super normal profit but under the perfect competition in the long run the firm gets normal profit under the monopoly there is no optimum utilization of their sources because they want to maximize their profits uh, under the perfect competition because uh, they uh, deliberately supply less so that they could charge more price under the perfect competition it is optimum utilization now the last is left that is the comparison between the monopolistic competition and the monopoly it's written note they are also available at my blog even the, uh, this separate lecture is also available at my channel shashi agarwal economics and law classes in hindi so what is the difference between the monopolistic competition and monopoly under the monopolistic competition product differentiation is there and that is the important feature of the monopolistic monopoly it product may or may not be homogeneous large number of buyer and seller monopoly there is a single seller and large buyer there is no restriction on the new firm to enter and the old firm they may leave but there are restriction because there is only one firm that is called industry under the under the monopolistic competition it is called the group of seller is called the uh, uh, the uh, group of seller is called the group monopoly there is single firm and that is the industry and the uh, monopolistic competition the uh, buyers they do not have the perfect knowledge they have imperfect knowledge but monopoly uh, it is assumed that the buyer they are aware that monopolist exist a firm under monopolistic has to spend a lot on selling cost monopoly very little on the selling cost in the short run the firm may have super normal profit normal profit and minimum loss but in the long run it is normal profit in the short run the firm have no super normal profit normal profit and minimum loss but in the long run the firm is going to have the only only matlab it will stay uh, just because it will get the super normal profit otherwise it will not stay so the monopoly in the long run also earns the super normal profits and this is the shape of the ear and mr here the less elastic it is the more elastic and it they are downward sloping mr lies below it and mr also lies below it it is more elastic and here it is less elastic so thanks for watching do subscribe shashi agarwal and second channel shashi agarwal economics and law classes